Have you ever wondered what would happen if there was a gigantic eruption in Yellowstone National Park or somewhere else? What if such a supervolcano eruption happens while you're watching this video right now? If so, then you have come to the right place, because today we will talk about a new scientific study that has just been published. And let me tell you, it's rather terrifying. The title says it all, Supervolcanoes, Are We Doomed? So get ready for some serious science. The researchers used advanced computer models to simulate how volcanic eruptions affected our planet's climate and vegetation more than 20 million years ago. Their findings may help us predict how life on Earth would be affected if a massive eruption were to occur today. As usual, a couple of quotes first. The senior author of the paper, Professor Andy Woods from the University of Southampton said, This is one of the most important papers I have ever worked on. It is also one of the most frightening. No event in recorded human history has had such a profound effect on our planet as the eruption of a supervolcano. Yet until now, we've never really understood the impact they can have on a global scale. Our study shows that not only did life barely survive the immediate effects of the largest eruption in history, but it also took millions of years to recover. Right. So let's talk about supervolcanoes. A supervolcano is a broken-up magma chamber beneath the Earth's surface that can erupt with an astounding force of over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. When that happens, the effects can be devastating and far-reaching. First, there is the initial blast wave which destroys everything within hundreds of kilometers. Then there's the pyroclastic flow which consists of hot gas and solid matter that surges down the sides of the volcano at high speeds, destroying everything in its path. These flows can travel for miles, engulfing everything in their path and causing widespread destruction. Finally, there are the airborne ash and gases, which are carried high into the atmosphere by the explosive force of the eruption. Ash can fall over large areas, burying landscapes and blocking sunlight. Volcanic gases can also have a significant impact on the atmosphere and climate leading to long-term changes in weather patterns and temperatures around the world. There are eight known supervolcanoes on Earth, five of which are in the United States. This includes Yellowstone Caldera in Wyoming, which is probably the most famous one. And yes, it's been dormant for about 640,000 years, but that doesn't mean it won't erupt again someday. There's also Crater Lake in Oregon, Medicine Lake in California, Lake Tahoe in Nevada, and Valles Caldera in New Mexico. Outside of the U.S., we have Toba in Indonesia, La Garita in Colorado, and Campi Flegre in Italy. Now don't worry too much. The chance of a supervolcanic eruption in our lifetime is extremely small. However, scientists cannot rule out the possibility entirely. Now let's talk about this new scientific study. Published in the journal PNAS, this research was conducted by an international team of scientists from various institutions including the University of Southampton, Imperial College London, and the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institution. In their study, the team developed a sophisticated computer model that simulates the environmental impacts of massive volcanic eruptions. They used this model to simulate the effects of the Toba eruption in Indonesia, which occurred about 74,000 years ago. This eruption is considered the largest known eruption in the past two million years and is estimated to have released about 2,800 cubic kilometers of material. For comparison, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines in 1991 released about 0.05 cubic kilometers of material. So you see, supervolcano eruptions are thousands of times more powerful than regular volcanic eruptions. Using their model, the researchers were able to simulate the short-term and long-term effects of the Tova eruption on the surrounding environment, including the immediate blast wave, pyroclastic flows, and the subsequent climatic and environmental changes. One of the key findings of the study was that even though the immediate effects of the eruption were devastating, leading to widespread destruction and loss of life, the longer-term impacts were just as significant. After the eruption, the climate changed drastically, leading to a volcanic winter with temperatures dropping by several degrees Celsius. 
This lasted for several years and had a profound impact on plant and animal life worldwide. In fact, the researchers found that it took millions of years for life to fully recover from the devastation caused by the eruption. For example, they discovered that the eruption led to a mass extinction event, killing off around 60% of plant species and 90% of marine and terrestrial vertebrates. But even more concerning is that it took between 5,000 and 10,000 years for plants to recolonize the area around the volcano and for mammals to return. The study also found that the eruption had a profound impact on the global carbon cycle, leading to significant changes in the levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The researchers also found that the effects of the eruption were felt far beyond the immediate vicinity of the volcano, with ash and debris being transported around the world. But perhaps the most alarming finding of the study was the impact of the eruption on the ozone layer. The eruption led to a significant depletion of the ozone layer, which is a protective layer of gas that shields the Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. This created a runaway greenhouse effect that caused global temperatures to rise, leading to widespread melting of ice sheets and rising sea levels. But eventually, the atmosphere began to recover, and after about one million years, it returned to pre-eruption levels. But here's the catch. This recovery happened under very different circumstances than those that existed before the eruption. That's because the eruption triggered major changes in atmospheric composition and circulation patterns, resulting in a warmer and wetter climate. So if something like this were to happen today, it would affect human civilization very differently than it did back then. Here's why. The researchers say that if a supervolcano were to erupt today, the consequences would be catastrophic. Modern society relies heavily on complex systems and infrastructure that could easily be disrupted by the eruption's effects, leading to widespread chaos and economic collapse. Even worse, the eruption could trigger a chain reaction leading to further environmental disasters, such as tsunamis and earthquakes, making the situation even more dire. However, it's worth noting that the study also highlights the resilience of life on Earth. Despite the devastation caused by the Tova eruption, life eventually recovered and went on to thrive. This suggests that even in the face of such a catastrophic event, life can find a way to adapt and survive. But let's be realistic. It wouldn't be the same for us humans. Even though life itself might go on, we might not be around to see it. Humans have only existed for around 300,000 years. During that time we have spread to every corner of the planet and built complex societies that rely on delicate systems and infrastructure. If a supervolcanic eruption were to occur today, it could potentially wipe out our entire civilization. In summary, this new study provides valuable insights into the potential impacts of a supervolcanic eruption and should serve as a reminder of the awesome power of nature and the need for humans to prepare for and mitigate the risks of such events. But you know what? Let's end this video on a positive note. Don't lose hope. Scientists say that the likelihood of a supervolcanic eruption in our lifetime is extremely low. Furthermore, there are ongoing efforts to monitor and study volcanoes around the world in order to better understand their behavior and predict their eruptions. Plus, we've already made it through worst pandemics and wars. A supervolcanic eruption is just another challenge we'll have to face eventually. So, stay positive and carry on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave your feedback in the comments below. See you next time.